what is your name? Annie. Annie, Annie, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. Aw, are you nervous that you're here? A little bit, yeah. I love how you look. I love your outfit. Thank you. Are you Australian? Yes, I am. That's a long journey. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring your family with you? Yes. Hmm. Down there. Hello. <laughs> Well, we're very excited that you're here. What are you going to do today? I'm going to be singing. So how long have you been doing this? Since I was about seven years old. Okay, so let's see what you can do. Go ahead. Thank you. Go, Annie. Come on, yeah. baby girl. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it's so cute. Amazing! I loved it. Mm -hmm. I thought you were so confident, and I think this is what you're meant to do in your life. Howdy! What do you think? <laughs> Howdy to you. His name is now Howdy. Yes. Howdy. <laughs> Combination. That's dance monkey, right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Y you're a beautiful little dance monkey. You are amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you that. The, well, you are. It's just. So stunning watching you, listening to you. You're a great performer, you sound great, you're a star, and the world now knows you. Thank you. Simon. I can tell how much you love that song. And I like a little twist on it. This is what, a 14, 15 hour journey from where you came from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. But while you're up there, your confidence was actually quite amazing. Amazing. Thank you. That was a great audition, well done. <laughs> to vote. Um, I'm going to give you the first yes. Thank you. Howdy. I wanted to also give you your first yes, but that's taken, so take the, this will be your second. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. Which means it leaves me to give you your third yes. God. Will you tell us your name? I'm Sophie Fatu. Sophie, tell me, how old are you? Five. And where do you come from? 
I live in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. <laughs> Did you have to take an airplane to get here? Yeah. Oh my God, there was so much people. I know. <laughs> So was this the first time you've been on an airplane to come and see us? Yeah, my favorite judge is Mr. Simon. Why? You're just doing everything right right now. Mr. Simon, <laughs> I saw the dream about you. I saw that he pushed the golden button. <laughs> Chicky. Chicky. <laughs> well, you never know. It might happen. I wish you good luck. Thank you. I'm going to die. Should we go to your favorite judge first? Well, we weren't expecting that, Sophie. Sophie, you know what? I love that song. And normally people about 90 sing that song about what their life's been about, and you sing it at five. You are hilarious. I want you to date my son. <laughs> <laughs> He's just split up with his girlfriend, so I'm going to have to make an introduction. Uh, he's going to love you, but you are adorable, Sophie. Well done. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? You are just so cute. From Thank your, you. You're welcome. And you sung like an angel. Thank well you. done, you. Howie? Wow, you did it your way, didn't you? That was amazing. You are the most adorable, cutest, talented little thing I have seen on that stage. Thank you. Aww. Sophie, I think you should be very proud of yourself. We see so many people here, a lot of grown-ups, and they're shaking. They are so nervous. And you just did it like that. Thank you. All right, guys, let's vote. Howie. Yes. Thank you. Mel. Oh, I have to say yes to you. You are happiness in a bottle, young lady. You got three yeses. So, Sophie, I'm gonna give you a fourth yes. You're gonna be in the next round. You did it. You did it. What did you think, Eric? Did you like Sophie? You can't press the red buzzer to her.
Olivia, we meet again. Hello. Hello, my lovely. She was going to see the show of Matilda, and I was in the box office. And then I said, we would love you to come down to Britain's Got Talent because her mummy and nanny wrote in and said that she had oh. the most amazing singing voice and that we should see her. Are your family here? I'm here with my mummy, my nanny and my daddy. <laughs> Olivia, tell everybody how old you are. I'm 11. Where are you from? Bath. OK. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. Oh, it's pumping. Yeah. And what is the song? Define gravity. Do you feel OK? Are you ready? Yeah. Deep breaths, Olivia. Good luck. Come on, Olivia!
You sing, it just flows and pours out of you. <laughs> that was an incredible performance. Thank you. I love her. I love her. I mean, you sent me literally flying. Everything you said touched me. You're a singing miracle, my God. Thank you. That was like a scene from the movies. You just blew the roof off. I mean, seriously, perfect, perfect, perfect. Golden buzzer. You so deserve this. You're brilliant. Thank brilliant. Thank you. I wasn't expecting to do that. I always go on how I feel in my heart, and everybody was on their feet, and you truly deserve that moment, Olivia. I felt so proud of you, darling. Thank you. Olivia, I'm going to remember that. Thank you. What are you? I'm called Angelina jo Jordan. How old are you? Jeg er syv år. Syv år, og hva er det du skal gjøre for oss her i dag? Jeg skal synge for dere. Hvilken sang da? Blomi Sunday fra Billie Holiday. Ok. Oi. Da gleder vi oss, Angelina. Da kan du bare sette i gang når du er klar. Scenen er din. Angelina? Ja? Jeg tror at du er en gammel sjel som har levd mange liv. Du synger helt fantastisk. Jeg fikk gåsehud helt fra starten av. Jeg har ikke egentlig mistet litt tom for ord her, egentlig. Det var 
helt fantastisk att sitta och höra på dig. Detta var virkelig, altså. Du är er ju musik. <laughs> Tack. Ja. Vet du vad jag tänker om dig? Jag tänker att du är er född till att synge och jag vill säga si att för oss här folkens så har vi en stjärna. Någon gång när man är er vuxen och man ser ett barn som synger så förstår man inte helt eh, hur det går an för att du synger på en sån måte som eh, man tror att man blir nött för att vara vuxen och kanske till och med ganska vuxen för att göra. Vet du vad sången handlar om? Ja. Det handlar om en trist söndag. Det gör det. Jag kände den triste söndagen. Det var fantastiskt att höra på. Verkligen fint. Då stämmer med folkens. Ja! ja! Angelina, du är er vita i norska talenter. Tusen tack. Good evening. Hi. What's your name? My name is Angelica Hale. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm nine years old, and I just found out that I'm going to be a big sister. Wow! Mama! Who do you want to be like? I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow! I want to be a superstar. Wow! And I'm so happy to be here because, like, I've been watching your show on YouTube, and now I feel like, like, I'm in it, and I'm, like, so... Like Austria. <laughs> and not only are you in it, you're in it to, to win it. Yeah. Come on, my little girl. Go ahead, Angelica. Okay. Win it for you. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Whitney Houston. You're broken down and tired Of living life on a merry-go-round And you can't find the fighter But I see it in you So we're gonna walk it out And move
You're so beautiful. Simon, talk to her. Well, this shouldn't actually happen. <laughs> you're tiny. Your voice is huge. I have a feeling we may be looking at a star in the future. Thank you. Heidi. Wow. I had goosebumps everywhere. You're a clever little girl. And you said you want to be a superstar. I think that might happen for you. Let me tell you. Mel B. You are so special. And your voice is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. By the way, Mel B, you're my favorite judge. Yes. You said you've been watching this on YouTube and you felt like now you're in it. I believe that not only are you in it, I predict that all your dreams are going to come true, young lady. <laughs> Mel, vote. Oh, yes, a million times over. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Ivy. Of course it's a yes. A big yes. fat yes. Simon. Who did you say your favorite judge was? Me. <laughs> Look, I mean... <laughs> Angelica, you are absolutely brilliant. Love you. I'm, I'm honored that I'm your favorite judge as well. You've got three yeses. <laughs> so you've got three yeses. I'm going to give you your fourth. You have four yeses. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Simon. Oh, thank you. And what's your name? My name is Immy Davis. And where are you from, Immy? I'm from Wellingham City. It's my neck of the woods. How old are you? I'm nine. Oh, my goodness. So, are you going to sing? Yes, I am. OK. And what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing I Put a Spell on You by Screaming Jay Hawkins. Oh, my goodness. Why that song? It's because I've been practicing it and. <laughs> Good reason! Everyone's making me look a bit stupid this year. I realise that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you aren't stupid. I know I'm not, but I feel a bit stupid this year. So thank you, Imi. We've sort of become friends. I like that. Okay, so why did you decide to come on the show, Imi? Because since I was five, I've been watching this show and I've always wanted to be on this show. Really? So, do you think you're going to win, Amy? I'd love to. Well, look, I'm not going to ask any more questions because I'm feeling really, really stupid right now. So, good luck. Go on, Amy! She's really sweet. Oh, yeah. And funny.
Human. How old are you? Nine. Impossible. Nine. And sings like that. That is extraordinary. It's like you transform. You're this cute nine-year-old, and then you're like, pow! Take that. And we really did. We were under your spell. I loved it, Amy. Well done. Thank you. It sounded so retro, so vintage, so otherworldly. It's like you were channeling. Goodness knows what. It was amazing. David, you sure you weren't miming? I'm sure. <laughs> no, I, I was just I was completely gobsmacked. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Were you expecting this reaction? No. You weren't, were you? No. No, that's what makes you so special. You were incredible. Thank you. But let's start with David. I'm going to say yes. I'm saying yes. It's a yes for me. I think you got about 5,000 yeses in it. Hello. What's your name? Connie. Connie. How old are you, Connie? And what, what do you do, Connie? I sing. You're a singer? Yeah. And uh, how long have you been singing? Since I was two. Now, do you, you know that the winner of this competition gets to play in front of the Queen, don't you? Yeah. What do you think of that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> think the Queen would like your singing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> First honest answer we've had today. <laughs> <laughs> OK, off you go then, Connie. I thought you were absolutely brilliant. I thought you sung that beautifully. OK, and Amanda was crying, so she obviously <laughs> liked it. I'm a complete mess. Which means there's only one person who you need to really impress, and that's the nasty Simon. What do you think? <laughs> do you think he liked you or not? Connie, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you like an adult, OK? Because I think it's important. I thought... You were fantastic. <laughs> Connie, I, I, only have, I only have one question. Was that really you singing? <laughs> right, OK, now we have something important to do. Piers, yes or no? Here we go. Yes. Amanda? Yes. Connie, you're through to the next round. She was 
pitch perfect. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. What's your name and how old are you? My name is Celine and I'm nine years old. You're nine years old. This is my dream being in America's Got Talent. Aww. So what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing. Oh, wow. 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 Have you got any brothers or sisters? I got a little sister. And what's her name? Her name is Dion. Aww. Celine and Dion. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> really? So I'm guessing your parents love Celine Dion. Yes, of course. Right. So when did you realize that you had a great singing voice? When I was in the car, my dad's driving, and then suddenly I just sang My Heart Will Go On, and then he was like, wow. wow. Why Celine Dion sing? song? Yeah. We got that. We've worked that out, Mel. There's a Celine Dion connection. <laughs> I know, but I'm just... Yeah. So, what, so what kind of music do you like to Dion. listen to? I like... Uh, Celine like, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and what is your big dream? When to be you the grow next up? Celine Dion. She's got it. <laughs> this is my dream. <laughs> this is your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celine, can um, I ask you a question? Yeah. What artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. Yeah. <laughs> well, Celine, good luck. Thank you. Celine, I want to know, uh, that's obviously not you singing, so who's that singing? It's me! <laughs> that's really you? Yeah. You're not kidding me? I'm not kidding you. There's no one behind, there's no one behind no. that screen? No, no, no. <laughs> no. It is 100% you? Yes. OK, well then, you are incredible. Thank you. Seriously? Thank you so much. Yes. Simon, you are the best. You really knocked it out of the park. I mean, you got all the notes right. It was beautiful, and you're beautiful. Well done. You're also beautiful. Thank you. Oh, well done. <laughs> Howie. <laughs> I can't get the smile off my face. You are adorable. You. That was amazing. That's yeah. why I love Thank doing you. this show. Thank you. <laughs> Celine, I was just pretty impressed to start off with of how confident you are and that this audience didn't phase you. There was no nerves, no nothing. You looked so at home and peaceful up there on stage. Thank you. You controlled those notes and with your beautiful vibrato. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Let's vote, Simon. You got a big fat yes. Thank you. Heidi, it's a definite yes. Thank you. Howie. I'm saying yes. Thank you. And it's a fourth yes from me. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Hi, little one. Did you 
you think your sister did a really good job? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome to our stage. And what is your name? My name's Heavenly Joy Jerkins. That is a beautiful name. Your first name is Heavenly. My aunt calls me Hev. Okay. Yeah. How old are you, Hev? I'm five. I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you. Uh, tell me about yourself. What are you going to be doing today? I'm going to be singing a song and do tap with it. That's hard to do because sometimes you can get out of breath, right, when you're singing? Yeah. Is that going to happen to you? No. No. Good. And, and where did you get this ability at five years old? Do you have a musical family? Since when I was one, I used to sing. Because you got to start at a young age in this business. You really do. <laughs> now, you know, if you win this whole thing, you get a million dollars. Well, if I get a million dollars, I want them to keep them. I want to get them all over the world because some people don't have any clothes, so I'll give some clothes to them. Aww. Beautiful. He's raising her right. <laughs> By the way, I'm your favorite judge, aren't I? Mm hmm Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very smart. All right. I wish you a lot of luck. I hope you win so all those people who don't have money get money, you know? Places, I'm telling you. Wow. wow. You know, when I was uh, a little boy, not much older than you, if you can imagine that, <laughs> Heavenly, I used to watch uh, Shirley Temple yeah. in movies on TV. I watched that. You watched that too? Yep. Did you know, I think Shirley Temple is living somewhere inside of you. Is that possible? Because. Well, not Shirley Temple, Jesus. There you go. How you talk? I think America's gonna fall in love with you, Heavenly. I bet you dollars to donuts that they are already <laughs> in love with her. You are Heavenly. You really are. You remind me of her own Mel B, because you would have been a terrific Spice Girl, I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. You never heard of them, right? No, because I wasn't born yet. Right. Uh... She doesn't know who you are. That's okay. We know who she is. She's adorable. Well, you know, Heavenly, I'll be proud to tell you that you have your first yes. Heavenly, I'm going to give you your second yes. Great job. And I will give you your third. That's it. We'll see you in the next round. Yay! What a cute. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, very. When you woke up this morning and it was like, oh, God, it's my audition day, what was the first thing that was in your head? Meeting you, Simon. You're my idol, literally. I love you so much. <laughs> and doing my best for everybody. But, but mainly me. <laughs> I get it. 
You're the best, like, I... <laughs> and how old are you? 13 years old. You know that you win a million dollars if you win the show? Yeah. What would you do with the money? I would buy a guinea pig. <laughs> wow. No one's ever said that. I would call him Simon Cowell, and then my sister, if she gets one, he will call him Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Howie, the guinea pigs. OK, well, listen, we're all rooting for you, Charlotte. Good luck. Thank you. There's a guinea pig's life at stake here. <laughs> Name Simon Cowell. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you, you are beautiful and sassy and everything all rolled in the one and you blew the roof off the house. Thank you. Gabrielle. Are you sure you're 13? Yeah, I'm sure. Cause honey, I felt like the rent was due, your man done did you wrong. <laughs> You've got a depth and a soul and I'm here for all of this. Thank you. I think your voice is strong, it's powerful, but it's not overdone. I just love you. Thank you. I could see how much you really respected the artist. I would say to you, if you make it through to the live shows, Charlotte, you've got to drop backing tracks, you know? Because when you let go, you're at your best. But we're going to go to the important part. How are yes or no? She put a spell on me, it's yes. Thank you so much. Gabrielle. You've got two yeses. Thank you. Julia. Absolutely, you got three. Thank you. Actually, no, you don't. You've actually got four yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is she adorable? My name is Decorey Johnson. Decorey, how old are you? I'm 11. And where are you from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. What is your talent? So I'm a singer. Oh, is that what you want to do when you grow up, all yes. of that? Yes, I want to be on Broadway and be in movies, and I want to be in Hamilton and Wicked. Oh, wow. Did you ever dream of coming to AGT? I watch AGT like almost every day. Simon, you are my favorite because you keep it real like my mama. Somebody <laughs> likes me. Thank you so much. So, do you think you can win? I feel like that I can win it. Wow. 
Okay, so we're ready for you. Good luck tonight. Thank you. ask you to sing up to the chorus uh, without the backing track. Yes. Yeah? All right. You got it. be here. I'm just so happy. Bravo! I thought that that was amazing, Decore. I think you definitely have a place on Broadway. When he took the track away, less is more. You're a better singer than even what you performed today. You are so Thank much you. better. I love what you did. Thank you. I'm very happy also that Simon took the music away because the music was just in the way. And I think all the, the path that you're gonna go, your wish, I think will come true. I have a good feeling Thank about you. you. I think you know the kind of singer you wanna be, where you wanna end up, which is really important. Yes. I think you have such a distinctive, great voice. Thank you. I think you're gonna get better and better. It's so difficult to say what will happen in the future. What I can say, I promise you, is things are just going to be amazing for you. Thank you. Really. I'd love to be the first person to say yes. Thank you. I'm going to be the second yes. Third yes for me. Thank you. Four yes. Thank you. Thank you so much.
for the lady to come out who was really singing that. That was your voice? Yep, that was me. Wow. That was... Howie. That was incredible. You know what? We were going to do this show, and we all said at the beginning, it's kind of scary, and all we want to do is find that one moment, that one gem, that one star from a place we've never looked before in America's Got Talent, and you know what? This is the moment. You're the star. Yeah. Jackie, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Here's... Are you sure you're not 30? Yeah. You're not just very small, right? You are 10 years old. 10 years old. Exactly. That is... I'm going to tell you, that is one of the most extraordinary performances I've ever seen on America's Got Talent. You've got it all. You've got... You've got the whole thing. You've got a lovely smile, beautiful dress, and then you start to sing, and everyone in this audience probably felt the way that I did. We all felt goosebumps. That moment when you think, I know, I know what's going to happen here. We're going to wake up tomorrow, and America is going to be going crazy for a little girl who just sang like an angel. Absolutely incredible performance. Sharon. Yeah, Jackie, I, when you first started to sing, I thought, is this for real? I can't believe that's from this tiny body, this huge, mature voice that you have. It it's, is absolutely amazing. I, I can't believe it. And I've never seen anything like it. And it, that's how, why... How do you, you feel, Jackie? I feel so amazed and so happy that I feel like I'm just about to burst in tears. Oh. oh. Like tears of happiness. I, it's such a delight for us that you were on the show tonight. Thank you for being here, really. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh my gosh. Uh, let me just say, I love you and I watch you on Modern Family. Oh, I just I adore you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here. You look nervous. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. What? 10? Oh my are God. Of course you have to be nervous. And where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Wow, she's so nervous, though. Oh, my gosh. Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Or do you need more? Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? I'm falling. In all the good times I found myself. Just shut your eyes for a change. In all the bad times, I fear myself. I'm up the deep end.
This moment is unbelievable. That wasn't you singing, was it? No. It wasn't someone behind you. <laughs> like Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. It really was you. And you know what? You, you are you are so likable, so humble, bearing in mind you've got this um, you must have great friends. <laughs> yeah. And great parents. But yeah. sometimes I do get bullied, so Do you? Yeah. Aww. Okay, well you know we hear this unfortunately a lot, but there's one way. You, you win over bullies. It's by being happy and successful. You know that. Yes. Bullies yes. are always threatened about talented people. So in a weird way, it's a compliment. And it shows your strength that you've come all the way from Canada to be here. And we are honored to have you as our guest. <laughs> it was always my dream to be on AGT, you know? Sorry, that's coming true. What did you think, Sophia? It was amazing. It was breathtaking. You're 10 years old. That's impossible to sing like that at 10 years old. And you know what? Let's see who is going to bully you after this. And if you How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 13 years old and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. OK. Oh, my gosh. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then... I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Oh, please be good.
could use to describe that. Golden. flawless, very composed. I looked over at your mum and sister. And they were in bits. So you did you did yourself so proud. It was beautiful. I don't know what you're channeling, but whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a, a trance. I agree. It was like being in heaven. I was in tears because you really touched me and it's very simple. You sang like an angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this show. Really, that means a lot. Thank you.
geloven, echt. What is your name? My name is Peter Rosalita. How old are you, Peter? I'm 10 years old. And where are you from? I was born in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, but I am a Filipino citizen. What would you do with the million dollars if you win this amazing competition? I would buy a Nintendo Switch. Uh, only one? A laptop for my online school. Oh. Yeah. You realize you've only spent about $1,500 so far? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Uh, sorry? <laughs> what do you mean? He's dead. Well, let's see if he does something. He doesn't work. I live as a singer. So you see, he does something for a living. And you're going to sing tonight for us? Yes. OK. Are you nervous? Yes, I'm very nervous. Don't be nervous. You yeah, don't great. be nervous. OK. We're rooting for you. OK, we're ready for you. We can't wait to see what you're going to do tonight. so cute, like even when you talk to us. Everyone says that I'm cute. Everyone. <laughs> I predict you're going to go far in this competition. Thank you. Heidi, what did you find? I think you're incredible. What I want to know is like, what do your neighbors say when you rehearse these types of songs? They got surprised. It is so high, you would think like a glass would explode. Yeah. I mean, Mariah better watch out. Yes. Simon, what did you think? That was an incredible audition. Thank you. There were parts during that audition which literally gave me goosebumps. Yes. Ah, goosebumps. Yeah. You have uh, an amazing voice, an amazing personality, an amazing energy. Thank you. Everyone is going to fall in love with you after this audition. Oh, thank you so much, Simon. I think America's going to love you. We're going to start voting. I think the world's going to love him. Yes, Simon. It's a yes. A yes from me. A yes from me. Four yeses.
Hi. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, and what's your name, please? Victory. 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 Oh. Nice. Uh, how old are you, Victory? I'm nine. Okay. Aww. And tell us a bit about you. I live in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And. And what? <laughs> and what? Okay. And and tell me what you're going to do today. Are you going to you're going to sing? Yes. Okay. Are you excited? Uh, I'm ex nervous. You're nervous. And excited. Excited ex -nervous. and nervous. You said ex nervous. Ex nervous. Ex nervous. Ex nervous. I love that. Well, that's good. And who are you here with today? My mom. Aww. Yeah. Um, and what would you do if you won the million dollars? Buy Simon a rainbow shirt that has glitter on it. Oh. I love that. Wow. Do you think I need a rainbow shirt? You need some color. Because I only wear, like, normally one color. Yes, white, gray, and black. You've got it. <laughs> well, look, let's hope this goes great for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thing. Uh, well, I was not expecting that, and you're angelic, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it too. You have a beautiful voice. It was incredible. You are incredible. Thank you. Amazing. I agree. You are a star. I think you have a powerful voice. That was amazing. I really loved it. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I think, you know, auditioning 
and turning up sometimes is really, really important for your career. And I think you've been incredibly brave to come here, I have to say. Can I, I just want to talk to Terry for one moment. Terry, let me ask you a question. Yes, yes. Can I have a word? Yes, yes. Do you mind? Sorry. Come to me. Huh? What is wrong? I don't know. What happened? How would you feel if we were to do something different this year? I just... How do you feel about that? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Um, look, victory, uh, as I said, you know, turning up, you know, in terms of your career is really important. However, um, we're not going to give you a yes today. We're going to do something else we've never, ever, ever done on the show before. We are all going to give you something special. Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Victory. You, come here, stand up. How you doing? What are you gonna sing for us? I don't care, just do it. Are you ready for me? You ready for me? Here we go. You better sing, Tommy. How old are you? I'm what? <laughs> Why don't you go and sit up on the face? Can we do that? Always ask what happens in the commercial breaks. Yeah. yeah. And amazing things happen in the commercial breaks, don't they? You sounded so good. We do ask people in the breaks if they'd like to sing a song, and I was literally just coming back in and I heard this voice thinking, who the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> we all were. And then I see this little thing in the audience, and it's you. <laughs> How old are you? 11 years old. Amazing. And That's your name is? Madison Taylor Bias. And where are you from? Yorba Linda, California. Is this the first time you've been at a taping? No, I've been to many tapings, and ever since I was four years old, I would always try and sing for the commercial breaks, and it's always been my dream to be on the show. And I'm finally here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of freaking out right now. Aw, that's so cute! Oh, oh, yes. Um, well, look. 
Why not have you audition? Yes! Yes! Wow! Why not? Madison, I mean, you don't need a track or anything. Why don't you just do what you just did? Is sure, that okay? Yeah. Do you want some water or anything? I'm okay. You I'm sure? Okay. She's ready. Look at her. She's yeah. ready. Just do it. I'm not kidding. In all the years we've ever done this, this has never actually happened before. I mean, I normally leave during the break because people do sing. So, uh, uh. so this is actually the opposite. It actually brought me back into the room. This is what you wanted. This is your dream, yeah. to be on the stage, not oh, just to watch. That's so cute. Yes. You're 11 years old. Do you sing at school? I sing for some of the school events, but... Everybody's gonna know your name now, young lady. Your life has just changed. <laughs> what would you do with a million dollars? I don't even know. I mean, I would... <laughs> um, I would help my dad with uh, cancer research. Um, he had stage four colon cancer for the past nine years. So I would help him with that. Oh. We should just vote. What are we doing? We're vote? voting? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I think I know which way this is going to go. We're just going to vote. Yeah, and we're going to vote. Get on with it. Yeah. Howie. <laughs>
Dad's right there. Get up, come here. This is just the start for you. I agree. I mean, that was magic. And good for you. You're gutsy. And you've got a great, great, great voice. Thank you. And what's your dad's name? Chris. How are you feeling, Chris? Doing good, doing good. I just want, you know, I've been battling cancer for the last nine years, and that's how she learned to sing. She would sing to me at the hospital throughout my, all my surgeries. While my chemo treatment singing to me and, and helping me get better, and I'm doing very well. Amazing. And now you're standing there with your wonderful dad, and you are a little star. Oh, one more time for Maddie, everybody! Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. You look fabulous. Thank you. What's your name? So Bunnika, but you can call me Sal. Hello, Sal. So how old are you, Sal? I'm 10. And whereabouts do you live? I live in Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. And are you excited about being on Britain's Got Talent? Definitely. And what are you going to sing for us today? I'm singing Trolley Song by Judy Garland. So you're into show tunes. Would you like to be on the West End stage one day? Yes. The stage is yours. Thank you. Collar and my high top shoes on my hair, but high up on my head. I want to lose a jolly, I want a trolley and lost my heart instead. Yeah! Clang, 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 when the trolley, ding, 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 when the bell. And I stopped the top. When my what? heart springs from the moment I saw him, I fell. Okay. I love you, but I didn't love the song. I'll tell you why, because it's the sort of song I imagine if David ever released a single. <laughs> honestly, that's what it would be. And I couldn't get that out of my head. I've just got your song list here. Can I hear the Greatest Showman song? Because then we can hear a different part of your voice. Yeah. Bless her. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you
jump. Super Nika, that is a mountain of a song, and you conquered it. Thank you. I cannot get my head around the fact that you're 10 years old, mm. standing up there like a little professional. Thank you. It's quite an old-fashioned voice that you've got, which I love, and you hit every single note. Well Thank done. You. Uh. Uh, so Panika. I gotta be honest with you. You absolutely nailed it. You're a gutsy little thing. You really, really are. I am gonna kick this off with a mighty yes. Thank you. So proud of you, darling. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Absolutely yes from me. Thank you. You got four yeses. Yeah, we'll see you when we're in the Good. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. What's your name? Iman. Iman? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, from Northport, Florida. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 10. You're 10? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Are you here with your parents? Uh, yeah, I'm here with my parents and my brothers. Uh, and your brothers. Are yeah. you the only girl in your family? Yeah. Oh, so you're the angel? Sometimes. Or are you the devil? <laughs> and what do your parents do? Well, my dad owns an ice cream factory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> best job ever. Yeah. Do you get to go in there and pick all your favorite flavors? Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? Salted caramel, coffee, and chocolate chip mint. Yeah. 
literally my favorites. We're on a good start. <laughs> okay, and let's see what you got. I mean, seriously, it. that was unbelievable. What an amazing person. Your dad's got the best job in the world. It must be magic ice cream. Um, and then you come along and just do that. You are absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Gabrielle. The whole audience was like, you've got to be kidding me. You're that talented. You're just a star, you know? Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I was completely mesmerized and, and captivated, and your voice obviously blew all of us away, but there's something about your presence. Like, you're so confident and so true to who you are. Don't lose that aspect, because that is what's going to take you on this journey. And you're gonna go really, really far, my love. <laughs> Thank you. All right, should we take a vote? I'm shaking. Simon. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, I really, really am happy to give you your very first yes. Howie. I'll give you the second. Yes. Gabrielle. Don't be nervous at all. It's three yeses. I'm gonna give you a yes, but only if we can share some ice cream together. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Four yeses! Oh. Hi. What's your name? Faith. Faith, how old are you? 12 years old. Wow. And where are you from? I'm from Swindon. Are you feeling nervous? No. Uh, nervous and excited. What did you think when you woke up this morning? I was like, oh my days. <laughs> is this even real? I started pinching myself. Oh, this isn't real. I can't be doing this yet. Got <laughs> a great personality. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever had moments when you've lost your confidence? I'm, I'm really curious. Um, I have lost my confidence a little bit with like a bit of negative energy from different schools. From yeah. Like, cause, but I, my mum and my dad, they helped me get through that, which is why I'm here today. So. Okay, 
my darling. Well, good luck. This is your moment. Thank you. She's so cute. I mean, just occasionally, and it is very occasionally on this show, someone comes onto the stage, you think, they are born to be a superstar. Thank you. You know what I love about you, Faith, is that I absolutely love your personality. Thank you. Um, and you talked about the support you had from your mum and dad. Then you see the support you've had from 3,000 people, and just to give you a little bit more support, I'm going to give you one of those. Sing the phone book. My heart is beating. Enjoy everybody. Hey, Daddy. Hello, Dad. <laughs> hey, what well up? 
Hey, she, amazing. Thank you very that much. That was such an amazing audition. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Simon. It was an absolute pleasure. Brilliant. I asked the question if you've ever had any negativity, because when I grew up, I had that as well. And the most important thing is they never get to you. And when you're as good as you are, you win. You know, it kind of gives you that strength and determination. So if anyone ever says anything negative, you remember this moment. OK? Oh, my God, that's so amazing. Thank you so much, Thank Simon. It's an absolute yeah. pleasure to meet you both. <laughs> you will start. Marina. And where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ooh, that's where my husband is from. Is that right? <laughs> um, so you're a singer? Yep. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. You can chase a dream that seems so out of reach. And you know it might not ever come your way Dream it anyway Dream it anyway Dream it anyway Yeah, yeah oh, Okay a song. Um, do you have a second song? Yes. Okay, that backing track was very overbearing. Um, so, can we try the second song a cappella so we get to hear your voice a yeah. little bit more clearly? Because I think you've got a good voice. It's a good song, but not right for you, the first one. Okay. <clears throat> Under the glow of the very bright light I turn my face towards the warm night sky And I am not afraid of a thousand eyes Okay, uh, Ashley, you want my honest opinion? I think you brought the wrong songs with you today. You have given them like some time to change the song yeah. or to come back. Yeah. Why don't we do that with okay. her? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Sophia's right. If you wouldn't mind coming back this afternoon and just try out in the time you've got the couple of new ideas, my suggestion is maybe do your version of a guy's song rather than what you're doing at the moment, which is a bit karaoke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you later. Good okay. luck. Bye. Thank you. And knock it out of the park. I, I believe in you. I'm happy that they gave me a second chance. It's all about your performance, all about the song. But I'm like, I'm like, Ooh. Try a Sean Mendes song? Sure. We're gonna play it for you, see if you like it. It's kind of hard because we're supposed to find a song that was written or sang by a boy. The, lyric, the lyrics aren't really appropriate. What's the name of the second one? You know the song? I don't really know the lyrics. What other boy songs do you know? So someone younger, someone male. Oh yeah, we can just plug you in. You have, you have to feel comfortable with the song. You Lyrics know are I mean? hard for you. It's your choice, you know. If you're not feeling it, just tell us. We're trying to find a song. I just hope he likes it. We tried some songs and they just weren't like working out. I don't want to regret the song choice, but we don't have enough time. Look, this is your mic, okay? Proud of you, honey. Love you. Thanks. Everybody wants to see what else you have. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go out there and make it happen, Ashley. Hello. Hi. Again. Yep. You're back. Hello, Ashley. And what's the song you've you've chosen? We tried out a couple songs, and I was just not like getting into them. Okay. So I'm actually doing an original song. I know I can get into this because I wrote it. Because you so. wrote it. And what's the song about? It's about my dad. Yeah. And it's about how he's always been there for me. And is he here today? Yep, he's backstage. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Let's hope this works out. Who's always 
I think we've finally met Ashley. <laughs> I can't tell you how important that is. Thank you so much. You now have three very, very well-deserved yeses. Hi. Hello, love. Hi. Hi, what's your name? My name's Cora. Hello, Cora, where are you from? I'm from Derry City. Cora, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Nine years old, any brothers or sisters? Um, yes, I have two brothers, one older and one younger. Oh, you're right in the middle, Cora. <laughs> Is that tough for you to be a middle child? Um, no, not at all. Good girl. <laughs> what are you gonna do, are you gonna sing for us? I'm gonna sing for you. Right, go ahead. One. 
This is the second coming of Miss Barbara Streisand. That was fantastic, Cora. Goodness, you just commanded that stage. Thank you so much. It was pitch perfect. You lit up the stage. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Cora, I would not like to live in your house. I mean, <laughs> your parents must have to keep fixing the windows every day. <laughs> I don't even know where that's coming from out of your head. You're so good. Well done. Thank you so much. I think we could be looking back at this clip in about 20 years' time and we'll yeah. be saying, remember it all started on that show, Ireland's Got Talent. Thank I you. don't think you realise how good you are and how good you're going to be. Thank you. It's time to vote, Denise. A star in the making, a massive yes from me. Jason. I can't believe that I've said yes to Cora Harkin, the star of the future. <laughs> King Louie! Cora Harkin, absolutely yes. Thank you so much. You've got three yeses, and I'm going to throw a fourth in there. It's a yes from me, Cora! My name is Luke Islam. Tell us your dream. My dream is to become a star and make it to Broadway. <laughs> Okay, it's a trick question. Who's your favorite judge? <laughs> <laughs> I love all the judges. Smart. <laughs> You're gonna make it, kid. That's smart. But if I had to pick one, I would pick Julianne because I've been. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Somebody jealous? It was an accident. Hater. We didn't mean it. Tell us why you love her. Because um, me and my sister have been following you and your brothers dancing for a very long time. Aww. That's amazing. Aww. So tell us what you're going to do here tonight. So I'm going to be singing She Used to Be Mine from the Broadway musical Waitress. Oh, go ahead. That is so sweet, yeah. Uh -huh. Sarah Bareilles. She is lonely most of the time. She's all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She's gone, but she used to be mine. You're not what I asked for. say I'm extremely flattered that you would even look up to my brother and I with a voice like that with an energy like that Thank because you. oh honey you have such talent and grace you have something so special you have an essence inside of you that has given you a gift <laughs> yeah. and yeah. I believe 
that not only are you going to become a star and get your dream to come true, but I don't think you need to wait that much longer because... And when you're broken on the ground You will be found I can't believe it. I, I'm in shock. I've never expected something like this to happen my whole life. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm Alfie Andrew. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Manchester, England. Ooh. Whoa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Are you a comedian? No, I'm a singer. <laughs> How does it feel like all by yourself on that stage, 12 years old? I would be terrified, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I am definitely nervous. Can I say something? The way you've dressed, you are so cool. <laughs> Honestly, Thank you. it just works. You Thank look you. super, super cool. Thank you. Yeah, you are. So tell us a little bit, do you come from a family of musicians? No, like my dad works for like cars and then my mom does like nails. And, stuff. and your parents came here with you? I know, I'm with my aunt. Hi, auntie. <laughs> Are they waiting for the phone call? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Okay. Good luck to you. Good okay. luck. Thank you. Adorable. Adorable. Why can't adults be like kids? Because kids are nicer than adults. Yeah. Lady Gaga. He's gonna be good. Hold my hand, everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens that clouds have been gray. Pull me close, wrap me in your aching arms. I see that you're hurting, but you take so long to tell me you need me. I think the only thing standing between you and an amazing singing career is puberty. 
Yeah. I mean, I want to buy your record already right now. Yeah. Thank you. It's like, I think you're going to be a rock star. Thank you. You have a very distinct voice as well. Thank this you. Is the first time in America? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. The people are going to remember you and they're going to root for you. And you're so cool. I just can't get over that. All right, shall we vote for Alfie? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. Yes! Thank you. Three yeses! And I want to give you a fourth yes! Thank you. I want to see how cool you are. You guys in jeans. <laughs> That feels good. Yeah. Okay. How amazing is that? Look at that. This is America, and they're all chanting your name. I got four yeses. <laughs> I got stunned in from Simon, and he even came up on stage. <laughs> Seems like it was yesterday when I saw your face You told me how proud you were, but I walked away For me, I know what I know today <laughs> I will hold you in my eyes I will take the place What's your name? Laura. Laura, how old are you, Laura? I'm 13. 13. Are you a singer? Yes. Yes. And have you been doing this for a long time? Well, my mom always liked to sing, and you know, she saw that I liked it too, so she helped me practice and pick out the songs, and here I am. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> are you nervous? I don't know. I just see so many talented people, and you know, just. <laughs> She's gonna do great. I feel it. All you gotta do is sing the song that you picked out, okay? Thank you. All right.
You were nervous? How do you feel now? Relieved. <laughs> Heidi? You are born with such a gift. It is unbelievable. I could not stop smiling. Like, you put me in the best mood. Wow. Loved it. Thank you. Simon. That didn't just happen. <laughs> Honest to God, you came out like a jelly. I didn't think you were going to be able to talk. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, if she starts to sing, this is not going to work. And then that just happened. I have never heard anything like that in all the years I've been doing this show. Seriously. <laughs> it, it was unbelievable. And what made it even better is the fact that you are such a sweet person, so humble, not even aware of how amazing you are. Thank you so much for coming on this show. Uh, that was really, really, really special. Amazing. You literally made all my hairs stand up on, on end. And you're only 13 years old. And you know what? I think that this show is going to completely change your life and I'm going to change your life right now. because of Mel B, ladies and gentlemen. Because of you, because of you. You are so special. Isn't she special? This is all for you. I'm shaking. You're shaking. Everybody up here is shaking. <laughs> Give it up for her one more time. Well done. dream to find the unbeatable foe to be
Benicio Bryant. How old are you? I'm 14. Are you singing for us? Yeah, I'll be singing. And what got you into music? Uh, my dad, I guess, uh, when he was like, he turned 40, he was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be a rock star. We were all like looking at him like, okay, yeah, sure. And so then, you know, he started taking lessons. He lessons. really did do this. I, I think he was having like a and, night uh, crisis or something. Guitar, but I've just been, you know, singing ever since I was like two. Amazing. Well, why did you come on AGT? Uh, I've been watching the show for so long, <laughs> and I wanted to come here so that I could share my music with the world, and uh, I just, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, we're excited, too. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Aren't you both to cry for an impeccable star? Already got chills. Don't ever let them steal your choice and your gentle ways to keep them from running wild. They can kick dirt in your face. Dress it down and tell you that your place is in the middle But they hate the way you shine song to choose you're the entire package and I just want to keep hearing you sing 
Gabrielle. You came out here, your complete authentic self, let your voice do the talking, and you connected with all of us. Incredibly talented. And I love the denim on denim moment. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Howie. From the moment the song started, it built and built and built, and I went, how good is this gonna get? And it got great. Oh my God, You're amazing. You. Simon. I tell you what, for anyone who hasn't been on that stage and you walk on there, it's terrifying. And I could see yeah. how scared you were, nervous you were, yet you pulled it together. Something about you. And for some reason, you remind me of the very first time I auditioned Harry Styles, which was he had this presence about him. I think you are a real kind. Thank you so much. Really? Great. Fantastic. All right, let's take a vote. Gabrielle. I mean, it's America's Got Talent, and you're loaded with talent, so it's a yes for me. Oh, my God. Howie. Yes. I will give you your third yes, Simon. Benicio. You got four yeses. <laughs> Working on America's Got Talent or Modern Family? Ooh, that's a good one. America's Got Talent. Wendy? That is true. That's true! Yes! Okay, there's really many <laughs> questions already. Do you see anybody in the audience tonight that you're interested in? That's it. That's it. Okay, I, 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 I think she's done. Terry, Terry, Terry. Uh, I have a, um, someone here who, um, for, on the internet, David Vaughn. He wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. <laughs> One, two, uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, no! oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> all right, okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Heidi, do those hand binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> so I have glasses. Hey, can you see now? Is that, is, with, with no, the... it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no, is I, You might want to wear them when you're judging. I'll give That's you a deal real. That's why you don't like them. <laughs> see, I wear. See, I don't know if I look <laughs> so pretty. good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. Now, <laughs> Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I think what every girl wants, someone... I am taken. <laughs> Someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome, someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> someone that is happy with himself, that's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married, oh, he's married, oh, he's married. all right. So that's, that's me, Sonny Chatham. Yes. And that's the crowd loving me. <laughs> And you're loving me, aren't you? Aren't you? You're loving me. That's my Grammy. I think we need to move on to the performance now, Sonny. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we got it. We got it. It's all good. Sophia, I want you to know, I, I have a lady friend already, so it's not, it's not romantic, my intentions, oh. but I, I just wanted to meet you and say, hi, I'm Sonny, and I just, I just respect you so much, and you're... Thank you, Sonny. You're just a strong woman, and 
Can I say hi to my lady friend, P? No, hey, 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 is there a song? Hi, P, hi, P, I love you. Who? I love you. Yeah, we don't have time. Stand up, P, I don't wanna see P, where's P? She's not here, she's taking care of her mother. She couldn't come tonight. Oh, wow. Okay. Last night, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think it is? <laughs> I like that. We do look like that. Ketchup I and mustard. I told you we did, and you didn't pay attention. <laughs> fine. We look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your oh, dress. man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. People always ask why I need a service dog. I don't. You got me, I'm faking it. <laughs> he has two primary services. First, he gets my beer for me. Good boy. Now number two, fetch me a girlfriend. <laughs> You're ruining my set, you jerk. <laughs> Go fetch Sophia Viagra. I'm here. I'm single. Oh no, damn autocorrect. I meant Sophia Vergara. Did you push her buzzer? Is that what happened? We got a playback. We got proof. That's it. It was not me, girl. Let's show the tape. Show them the tape. I know. You're really? looking at me like, Run the what? tape. I would not press my what? buzzer in the semifinal. I don't know what. The okay. tape just showed you dead. pressed Heidi's buzzer. I'm What's sorry. going on here? What I'm is sorry. going on with you, Howie? I, I there is an invisible line right here. This is your side. This I knew what she was thinking. Thing. I knew what you were thinking. Am I right? Well, sometimes it did sound a little ee! It so, did, right. but And I I'm here it, for you. But also, I don't know how it sounds at home, you know, because, yeah. but I do. We're not judging home, we're judging here, and wasn't here. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> some, sometimes, uh, but not buzzer-worthy. So that was think, on man. him. What, what do you I think? I don't agree with her. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> man, I don't believe this. Sophia, straighten this out for us. <laughs> well, I, I think you guys sound very nice. I had, I was, I, I don't know. I kept waiting for Simon to ask for another song. I know, <laughs> I, I know. I can't say he was. My name is Jay Osh. I'm, I'm from Nigeria. 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 He snuck back in. All right. What do you do? I'm the fastest rapper in the world. All right. Well, good luck. I hope this works out. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Hess is my F it is we do with the when they just move like we should win with this with the level. Pick it with the bus over the window, some with the with the bus with the fellow. What's the cassette? Ever since what I said, pick it the high. Who's that the whole who's that the whole thing? I was I was getting to the best parts. I was I was about to kill it. Why didn't you keep going? Keep it going, go, JS, go! Hand me, hand me, send me a fan. Get the rhythm and with the 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 Were you finished? I was getting, I was about to hit the best part. Yellowstone is a TV show about a cattle ranch ran by the bodyguard himself, Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah, a man. A man, right? Mm -hmm. The writing is great, the acting is excellent, but the visuals of Yellowstone are amazing. Yellowstone, the park looks amazing. So imagine my excitement when my buddy Eric invited me to his wedding. Where? In Yellowstone. Are you coming? Oh, I'm there. I've been watching the show. <laughs> The second I landed, guys, I got it. This place was so beautiful, so majestic. I understood Kevin Costner. Shoot, I became Kevin Costner. <laughs> By the third day, I was telling people to get off my land. Get off my land! <laughs> sure, it was in the hotel courtyard, but that's the way that I felt. 
I couldn't stop saying go on get. You go on get. You go on get from that cucumber water, sir. You've had enough of our minerals. <laughs> I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. <laughs> I'm all about love. You feel that immediately with me. But I was on the airplane coming here. A woman in the seat behind me, she gets up and she starts spritzing cinnamon. I go, lady, what are you doing? She goes, well, it's natural. I go, so is my butt, but I'm not putting it in your face. <laughs> I didn't want to hate her. She made me hate her. Do you see what's happening there? Yes. I'm a victim. I had a car accident recently. I'm all right, don't worry. <laughs> Young guy, stoned out of his mind, on his cell phone, music blaring, looked a lot like you. <laughs> Gets out of his car, you know, with the man bun. Dude, I don't know what happened, dude. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what happened is in 1999, your mother forgot her birth control. Oh! That's what happened, dude. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I uh, better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, God. And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop. This one dude tried to humiliate me, like I knew he was gonna rob us, cause I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but, he tried, 
He tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you starting Are you starting? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. Last night, you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right, uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they... <laughs> what they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's <laughs> nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression. Yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <laughs> come on! All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. 
<laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> That's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're cheating because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. It's a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with 100 kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll. And my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. And we broke up and I was pantalones. <laughs> yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> there was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. 
they going through to the finals? And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different and it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. He's a real liar, eh? I'm not a liar. I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16 and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? Right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right, Howie? Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not, not ever. Okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? And I'm like, calm down, biatch. I'm not driving this bus. My Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline? Lord, I mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? Get somebody who's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale and for cattle on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. I just got broken up with. It was an open relationship. It means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this. Apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, <laughs> I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Um, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Uh, remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. 
When I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds, <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six-month-old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because I, it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs>